so I'm just going to tell you a bit more about my job because you're like, okay, you told me how to get into it, but like, what do you actually do? So I'm on a project where I implement the compute system for the business. So the area that I'm implementing is quality management or procurement. So every week, normally three days a week, I will travel to a client site and I'll work from the client site and then two days I work from home. Um, if I don't need to be on client site, I can work from anywhere with a Wi-Fi connection. Hence why a lot of times you'll see me in different coffee shops. It's, it's how, but you've got to remember, right? It's kind of like at uni, yeah, you have a lot of flexibility, but your timeline got to be met. So if you waste your day watching Netflix, then I'm sorry, you'll have to pull, stay up till 3 a.m. smashing out your work. So you've got to be a grown up about it. Um, so in a project, I'm going to just explain the basics of every project. So you have a design phase, a build phase, a test phase, and then the go live phase. So what happens in the design phase? So you, as a consultant, this is like what I do. So as a functional consultant, uh, so you have to have like quite good people skills. So I will know what my area does. So I will know what quality management does. So I go to the client in the quality management business. I'll be like, okay, this is standard SAP where it does out of the box functionality, uh, you know, and I'll walk them through it and I'll see, I'll gather their requirements. So their requirements is generally what they do on a day to day basis. And then I'll compare what SAP does to what they does. So that's like a fit gap analysis. Um, so if there's a gap, then I'll have to work with a developer to build something to fill that gap. And then based on the end of the design phase, I go write a solution design document and different functional specs then required for each part in the solution design document, okay? The solution design document is just telling you overall what type, what part of the functionality is doing. So out of the box, SAP gives you so much, but not necessarily you need to use it all. So we're just documenting like, you know, everything we're gonna use, it's all documented next phase we go into the build phase so that is like configuration so what is configuration It's pretty much just the settings in the background okay so we'll be like okay so at this plant level they'll turn this on you know we're using this we're using this quality inspection type all this stuff so I do that it's not like for a coder it's just generally like configuration that functional consultant deals with. Uh, coders and developers have their own configuration they deal with, so we are separate. I would I would say um, we're very competent functional consultants, but we're more like people person, so we talk a lot more to the client. And then, so we'll do that, and then we gotta test it to make sure it works. So we gotta test it, write a lot of test scenarios, so that's like more like functional unit testing. And then we go into system testing. So that's functional unit testing. I'm testing my area of quality. System testing, I'm testing my area of quality with the other area. So for example, quality can hit procurement. It can hit production planning. It can hit sales and distribution. So we need to test the scenario end to end. And then when we get into that stage of the project, then we move on to the next phase which is more test. So test is when you do system integration testing. So that's more the whole scenario end to end. So for example, the business may have old systems going called legacy systems and then SAP. So we're testing all the solution now end to end. Then we have user acceptance testing. So UAT, obviously that's when the users come in, but you know, they gotta get trained as well in this part. So, you know, we would do training packs and stuff like that for them. So the users will say it I but throughout these periods, mainly in the build and test, you'll have demos. So it's better to catch first if it doesn't fit, if the business thought, okay, you told me this, I thought it'd be a bit different. So, you know, you demo it to them so they can see, okay, actually we want something else. So, you know, a little bit of change there. So it's, it's quite free flowing. And then once the users have signed it off and really happy with it, then we do a technical go live. So it's kind of like a client which looks like how it's going to be go live, just to make sure that the solution will fit in well, it goes well, and when that's all good, uh, we'll put it into go live, and then you'll have support. So you've got to remember, mind, a project may last a year now, so you're going to have a different client every time, you could have a different industry every time, which is really exciting, and every client has different requirements, so you're never doing the same thing 
you travel a lot it's very exciting like for someone who don't do the same thing day in and day out this is perfect because like i said standard sap may be different one client may more may have more gaps than others so that means like more build so yeah i would highly recommend it it's very people skills but obviously there's developers as well so for you developers it's the same job in the build you do your unit testing and then you do it with a functional you know a functional would then test your development so hope it really helps um let me know if you need like any more details i'm at some point i'm gonna look at doing a training series as well so yeah see ya